Welcome back everyone, this is Small for All Africa TV and it's really really been a while but it doesn't matter because you always have me at the end of the day. So as your week been, mine has been amazing. I mean there's been back to back, back to back kind of gist from Nigeria, from, okay so let me not Nigeria, from the presidential elections to, you know, the entertainment news. And speaking of entertainment news, so you, speaking of entertainment news, the, uh, actually, is it dinner or our, no maybe not our, your, yeah, your is more preferable. But then that would be that, that would be me being um you know what's it called you know the word but so our because he's our brother he's our sister he's our everything our whatever he wants to be take any form shape and size is a matter our matter princess of Africa has um decided to show us maybe not him now they've decided to show us that he's actually not princess in the real sense of it that he's a man a strong man at that course we um yesterday on social media um is um, um sexual escapades was made popular by certain people now i am not standing with anybody who have released that because i believe that we all are adults and we have the right to film anything we want to film but releasing it to public knowledge without the other person's permission or um or without the other person's um without the other person's knowledge it's a crime and it is punishable sincerely speaking but you from that video what we what we are able to gather across this is not is not gay as we are popularly knowing to be it could be bisexual but definitely not gay and you remember if they, they were asking a question sometimes ago that if this if this way is living is actually a lifestyle or is for the also and our brother our brother sister came out to say that it's a lifestyle but is it really a lifestyle from the video is this video recent was it like those are the questions that comes to my mind is the video recent is it in previous times did you really understand is the does is the gender identity now a thing for him now does he know who he is now i mean why did you record that why a lot of whys are coming through my head but then another why that is really really important to me is this why did the person release it so people on social media have been reacting saying even family on pam pam came out to say that um he is very sure that it was the release of that particular video was intentional whether or not it is intentional we do not know but my point is why why what is what what is this even if it is intentional what is this supposed to preach are you trying to tell us that oh i'm not as gay as you think i am or the other person releasing it why are they trying to tell the old world is it some sort of secret are we are we supposed to be faced by this speaking of wise we are not done with wise why is in nigeria have started up again because why is it now that asu has decided that they are likely to call off strike i mean if you remember i think trial um was it last week now um another uh, another sector came out and said that they will be taking they will be separating themselves um from asu and they'll be doing things better than asu can ever do now that they've seen the competition is that why they are trying to tell us that they'll be calling off the strike because the um the lawyer for asu um um femi falano san came out to say that he will not discuss the advice he has given to his clients but he can assure us that whatever decision they would be making is a very beneficial one to both parties and as well as to the students it's hinting at the fact that they will be resuming very soon as they are willing to call off the strike why now i'm not trust me i don't have anything against the fact that they are trying to resume right it's okay that they are trying to resume i'm happy that they are trying to resume very very happy that you're trying to do why now why is it that you it's when you have um it's when you have competitions that your head used to set you, you eat reset button the minute you have a competition so yes if that board is doing like wait his head is not correct to you my very listeners you know what to do give him a competition his head will reset because I, I, I think that's it immediately they have someone who they feel like ah can make us irrelevant they become very very serious so in anything you're doing get a competition for the person you're with even if it's a job really and you think they're not paying you enough be sure enough to obscure yourself to that level that you can pitch yourself to a competitor and you can actually tell your your your, your current company be, okay look at this this is what i've done for you this is what i can do for you this is where i think i have added to and this is what this other person is offering and see them level up as a student start packing your bags you're about to go you see all those uh, rice inside the cupboard see going on maybe quite a short to your parents i mean they'll not be able to provide you but i'll give you an hint that has always worked 
it never fails. See all those things to make toast. If you have five in the house, pick like three. Keep it as a Google. Keep everything like in bits. Keep that. Start gathering your, you know, food stuff now. And if it is your mommy's shoe that you like, steal it. No, not steal. Take it. It's your boyfriend's shirt, your brother's shirt. See, there is one thing that is more like comfortable to take. Apart from your boyfriend things, it's your brothers. They can't do anything. Take it from me. If they do anything, mention my name. They can actually not do anything. You see those sneakers? Take it. Those wristwatches. I mean, it's going to be a fresh start all over because it's been like eight months since you've been at home. You need fresh things to steal your siblings' things and your work. Speaking about stealing in Nigeria, so the people, um, the people intercepting the crude oil in Nigeria have been caught. It's said to be a man called Tompolo, one of the um, militant, the ex-militant men um, in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. They've um, seized this vessel, and I, this morning the news has been that they've destroyed the vessel. And they are standing a chance to face, of course, court actions against them. And you know, in the news that Vanguard released, they claimed that at some point the owner of the vessel bribed the um bribed the, the people who seized the vessel 25 million naira so that they can release the vessel to them. Now, this is it. If they can bribe them with that much money to release the vessel, it means that that vessel makes much more than that, or that vessel is worth much more than that amount. So exactly how are those people? We are shouting, there's no money, and we want to progress in the Why are we so wicked? Like, how would you constantly do that for nine good years? And, like, okay, so we understand that it's not the regular people that are stealing these things. I'm prepared to go and stand on the line, all of us, because this is the only resources we have. But because people who are in government that are stealing it, they don't want to. And when you say it, everybody is looking for where to put people be in detention. This man is causing trouble. Trust me, I don't believe that a normal Nigerian will steal. I mean, how can you steal close to 10 barrels of fuel per day and nobody will see it? Barrels are no small. Let me give you an hint to what it looks like. You know, at that party, you know that blue um, drum that we used to put cold drinks, especially, you know, hot drinks inside and not put ice. Exactly, that's a barrel. Now, let's think that that size is not inconspicuous. There's no way you will move it and then they would not notice for nine good years. And now we've caught you. I mean, they're not offering how many thousand naira after you know it's I, I, I personally I believe it's it's a little it's a little bit too small for what you've gained over the years. Since the official campaign has started yesterday, PDP welcomes to Uyo Akwaibom State Nigeria 15 jets to kickstart the article presidential campaign in Uyo Akwaibom State. 15 jets. 15. There is money where there is money in Nigeria. On this stage, I will talk my excitement, demonstrated my happiness, my joy, my excitement. that you are behind, you are way in the front, you are behind, you are in the front, you are ready to fight for us, to vote for us, to elevate our life, to build Nigeria. You can officially call Tinubu a feminist because listen to what he said while he was talking he was he was talking he was saying thank you for standing behind us i think maybe a script writer or some maybe maybe he's read or ranted see people rant about people putting women behind he said you've been with he now said you've been behind us you've been beside us you've been ahead of us i'm like mm, i stand a feminist like really now it, it is now that he understands the importance of not putting women just behind so he knows that women are behind women are beside women are in front wow it's impressive if they you know I, I don't take sides i'm not partisan i would always pick the good parts and you know ignore the bad parts so we are really grateful that at least 
Men now understand that women's place is not just behind you. They can be beside you, they can walk with you, and they can be in front of you. Out of everything he said yesterday, that was what hooked me. Our presidential candidate that they claim is only is only structure is online, Peter will be of course of Labour Party. As you know, it started a little bit of violence. I mean, it's been quite you know amiable to all the insults that has been all this way talking about oh Nigeria doesn't need new policies, but Nigerians policy just needs somebody we can implement it, which will be entirely right. Because if we have all these good and beautiful policies without implementation, why had more tweets? Why well, you can just improve on what you have? So it's a perfect explanation of continuity, but not continuity of suffering, continuity of you know the right constitution and policies that are in place, you know, just making them work. Better will be as incited a little bit of violence. He said something along the lines of um Nigerians allowing the people who want presidency to come out and say it in person. When they're looking for a job, nobody's going to go for interview for you. You go physically yourself. So we are not looking for a job. It must be a physical appearance. If they like, let them even do it through Zoom. But they must interview directly. But I prefer that they come here. There's enough way to come here. You know, it's train. <laughs> somebody, I was going to, I've already bought train ticket when somebody offered to drive me down. The train is very easy. If you come out of train, this is safe business school. You can come anywhere. <laughs> if you want to if you want bicycle, there's enough bicycle in our court to drive you around. Anything. Not through third parties. I'm not exactly clear who is shading, or maybe I am. I don't want to talk so that I'm not carried out of my house. And please, should in case something happens to me, the hashtag should be free smooth. Thank you very much in advance. Still speaking of the 2023 presidential campaign and election, the gist across the street or the gist on the block right now is that people are being forced to go out and campaign and when i mean people i mean market women are being forced to go out and campaign again are you are campaigning for a party that they do not want to campaign for if you're if you're lucky or fortunate enough to see these things please do not forget to do a video to show all of us and do not forget to preach to these women that it is not compulsory to do these things if they feel first they should voice out i mean all of us can come out and say because in recent time some people have come out to debunk the news so if you still think or you still you you can attest to the fact that these things are real and they are happening we need evidence please do not forget to video them trust me 2023 elections power is in our hands and we can do whatever it is we want if only we do just one thing go out get your pvc and vote for the right person do not vote for that person because they give you a bag of rice remember that bag of rice would not do you for christmas it's not about the noise on social media it's not about the noise that we are seeing in person it's about the people who are going out to vote for their actual candidates please go out and vote for your actual candidate and i'm not talking just presidency alone i'm talking also senate i'm, to I'm, I'm talking also of assembly I talk i'm talking about senate i'm talking about the mini like just do right even your local government chairman Please ensure to vote right. Thank you very much. I've come to the end of today's rant on Nigeria in a nutshell with LG Swiss Move. Thank you very much for listening, liking, subscribing. And if you've not done that already, please kindly do. I'm still your favorite person. Maybe not your favorite, but I'm still your very good person. Small for Africa TV. And I'll be sure to catch you next time. But just before I go. Thank you. Be nation. Be nation to the world. You got just back your girl. Please. Say.